you're listening to independent tv7 don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also don't forget eh, to click on the bell icon to get more notifications thanks for watching yeah as it is uh, i would say uh, it has been released that uh, tinobu had named those who uh, wants to break nigeria okay nigeria who are the people who wants to break uh, nigeria well let's hear from tinobu he may have uh, his own opinion concerning that uh, tinobu has revealed that uh, those uh, who want to break nigeria's uh, appointments with their uh, destiny uh, the news brain uh, reports that all progressive uh, congress chief in bola tinobu has revealed that uh, terrible people and their uh, stronger forces want to break up Nigeria's uh, appointments uh, with its greater destiny by attacking uh, agricultural players then in the country uh, by creating food uh, scarcity. I will say Tinobu disclosed uh, this on Saturday on the occasion of the 23rd to 25th uh, convocation ceremonies of the Federal University of Agriculture Makodi at the Benue State. I would say uh, Tinobu his APC chieftain was uh, also awarded an honorary award a doctorate at the event by the uh, university uh, senate and the governing council uh, the former legal state uh, governor said uh, we approach a defining uh, moment as a nation a reckoning of uh, special importance uh, beckons uh, we must decide whether to give the truth uh, meaning to our national motto uh, peace and unity or uh, we allow uh, the agents of disruption and the merchants of uh, violence to have their way uh, with us. Mm, terrible people and uh, strong forces want to break Nigeria's appointments with its greater destiny. Uh, these people have uh, unleashed uh, terror and violent uh, criminality against us. Uh, by attacking agricultural uh, players across uh, the nation, uh, they seek not, uh, to, not only to uh, ravage uh, the agricultural community but to visit a mystery on the rest of the nation uh, through food uh, scarcity and food costs that poor people can simply not afford well uh, in, in in effect of that uh, this means uh, forces uh, that seek to impose a food uh, production and distribution crisis on horse uh, by disrupting uh, strategically then important agricultural areas and activities continuable stress that uh, the need for agricultural uh, players to feed the nation and fight evil uh, actors at the same time. <laughs> well, uh, we must decide whether our farmland and grazing uh, areas are to be battlegrounds or they are, they are to return to the, uh, to the normal role, to their role of feeding the nation. And that's what he said. Now, the APC chieftain also stated uh, during this uh, moment of food scarcity, says we must uh, launch a program. Uh, that is uh, to expand production of uh, food staples and the concept of agricultural stability or sustainability advocates food uh, production in a way uh, that makes uh, the optimal use of uh, existing technical capacity by focusing on the most appropriate uh, general types of seeds and the livestock for our environment then here yeah, uh, both uh, states and the federal government must subsidize the restart of agricultural activities uh, interrupted by uh, terror and criminality and uh, these actions will serve to tame food uh, scarcity and a uh, price inflation in the short run well uh, increase the productivity uh, through greater mechanism and uh, farming will uh, advance food security uh, we have one of the lowest uh, indigents or incidents uh, of mechanized uh, farming in the world. Uh, the government must uh, work uh, with uh, local communities to establish a uh, wide uh, farm productive or production rather or cooperatives uh, that will increase the mechanization of uh, agricultural uh, produ production. Uh, the cooperatives uh, should be structured in a way for auto spinners, more productive farm equipment, uh, which cooperates. Mm, members can use on a time share basis that's what he said uh, and as it is uh, i would say hmm, Tinumbu, he said uh, he would name them uh, but notwithstanding i've gotten what i wanted to get but notwithstanding uh, i would say <laughs> naming them is not even a problem uh, you that want to name them i uh, hope oh, they will not name you mm. so that's 
those, those are the things you should uh, understand. Tinubu named uh, those who want to break the Nigeria fine. As he really he revealed uh, those uh, who want to we I do I do I don't know them, but I believe there's some persons who know. Even understanding uh, it has been said that uh, that all progressive Congress uh, chief the Ola Ahmed Tinubu has revealed that uh, terrible people are strong forces. <laughs> Want to break Nigeria's appointment with his greater destiny by attacking agricultural products and players in, in the country, thereby creating a food scarcity. Yeah, that is uh, what it is. I, I wouldn't know what to say concerning uh, this government. Uh, I'm going to come back. Uh, talking about uh, concerning food agriculture, agriculture, agricultural products. It says we should produce what we eat and eat what we produce. And there's no avenue for that. If you tell Nigerians or your citizens to produce what they eat or eat what they produce, how do they go about it? So, Tinubu has said there are some persons in a disgruntled element that would want that to work. But as it is, in Nigeria, uh, as, as it's been said, says, and there is a contraction. Mm. If uh, nobody believes in that, and as it is, yes, why won't people believe or why won't uh, uh, people in the diaspora know what is really going on in Nigeria? Tinobu will be in his own domain, you know, saying, clamoring for good, uh, or it does not even concern him, but the citizens of Nigeria will clamor for good governance. And since it does not concern Tinobu, he has his blue organ to himself. He uh, wants to mention names. Who are, who are the people that. Uh, who are the people? What kind of names is he mentioning? So he will say. Uh, though he was once a democratically elected uh, uh, government official and uh, democratically elected uh, government. But it is. No. Uh, yeah, if he has uh, mentioned the names of those that are involved in not allowing uh, our agricultural, uh, agricultural uh, produce to work. I would say uh, everybody has the right to justify him, your age, or self. And I believe there is no monopoly of power. Anyway, uh, I would say it's too early for Tinobu to have been trying to indict uh, members of the public or rather government officials. And if you really know something, you should uh, definitely walk to Bari, walk up to Bari. Because Bari is his uh, alias, or is one of his alias, his friend. But well, coming to social media and letting everybody know, notwithstanding, he knows where to report the issue to. Then, if you know them, quite alright. According to the report, then you disseminate the information. That is what uh, Nigerians would love to hear, definitely. But notwithstanding, uh, this shouldn't be a, a problem for Nigerians because we have a whole lot of uh, challenges. Uh, be the country. The country has deteriorated to that level whereby even if you blow any whistle, they are just, you know, they are on the pitch of football playing ball, so they know that uh, everything is fake. Uh, now we stand in this one, I'm going to draw the cut. I would like you to share this in the comment section. Thanks for listening and God bless you.